The FM Area Diversion Project is a combination of features that work together to provide flood protection for Fargo, Moorhead, West Fargo, Horace, Harwood, and other communities near the metro region. The southernmost part of the project is the Southern Embankment. This is a dry dam embankment that runs from east to west from Minnesota into North Dakota. As extreme flood events happen, this dry dam will protect the metro area from devastating floodwaters and hold those waters south of the metropolitan area until the peak of the flood has passed the metro area. Flowage easements will be purchased for properties south of the embankment that will be impacted by floodwaters during extreme flooding events. The first structure along the route is the Red River Control Structure. The gates on this structure can be set during flooding events to allow a safe amount of water through town. During extreme flood events, this structure will safely hold water back. Interstate 29 and county highways will go over the southern embankment. The dry dam meets the control structure on the Wild Rice River just west of I-29. The control structures will normally open to allow the rivers to flow. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers hired a contractor to begin building the diversion inlet control structure in 2017. The Corps is leading the work on the southern embankment and associated structures. During extreme flood events, waters will move west toward the diversion inlet control structure at the southern opening of the diversion channel. A small embankment to the west of the diversion inlet control structure helps contain water during flood events up to the probable maximum flood. As waters from extreme flood events enter the diversion channel, they move safely around the metro area in a controlled way. The diversion channel crosses multiple rivers, including the Cheyenne River and the Maple River. Both of these rivers will cross the channel using an aqueduct structure. The channel also allows excess floodwaters from the west to enter the diversion channel and flow north around the metropolitan area. There are more than 20 crossings of the diversion channel. Multiple smaller drains are able to enter the diversion channel along the way due to the water surface elevation within the channel being below grade. The channel has a footprint that is 1,500 feet wide and approximately 20 feet deep. It will be designed as a natural or non-concrete channel with the ability to handle 20,000 cubic feet of water a second at the diversion inlet control structure and the additional waters from the rivers and drains that enter it. Diversion channels are used by other communities, including those in the Red River Valley, to protect them from catastrophic flooding. The City of Winnipeg uses multiple diversion channels to protect residents from flooding. The channel continues north and takes water from the Rush River and the Lower Rush River. This water is safely moved toward the Red River. The channel meets the river near Georgetown, Minnesota, and water continues to flow north, eventually toward Lake Winnipeg. For more information about the FM Area Diversion Project, visit fmdiversion.gov.